It is time for Four Downs as we talk a little bit of football. Right now, Four Downs brought to you by Campbell, Cunningham, Taylor, and Hahn. Local vision done exceptionally perfect is the way I would put it. Let's get to Four Downs as we talk a little bit of football. We are just a few days away from spring camp opening for the Vols. Four Downs. Four questions, four answers. The Dave Hooker Show. Four. 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 Bounds, a presentation of offthehooksports.com. I want to get to this story. The Vols reportedly underrated heading into spring practice, according to 247 Sports. I'll let Caleb Calhoun lay that out for us. But first, four downs. First down, the most underrated position heading into spring camp is... I think it's running back. People are forgetting that Tennessee's got a lot of talent at that position. I'd blame you, Caleb. Um, I was Did I take yours? Yeah. And I even like the Khalifa Keith kid coming in as a power back. That was going to be my further um, backing of that claim. Okay, I'll let you have running back. Fine. <laughs> um, running back's going to be really good. Dylan Sampson, I think, is on the verge of being special. Uh, Jabari Small is, is really good in a different sort of way. They reminded me of what Tennessee would cluster together. Uh, fantastic running backs, not of this ilk, okay, but like Jamal Lewis, Travis Henry, Travis Stevens, going back even a little bit further. The uh, Aaron Haydens of, of the world, the um, oh, Tony yeah. Thompson, who's in that, who else? I was thinking Charlie Garner with Aaron Hayden. But. Yeah, Charlie Garner, and then Tony Thompson is just like, oh, uh, you know, I'm good, and I can step in and play. John says linebacker. Well, I'm going to go quarterbacks because I think if Tennessee was rolling into spring camp and didn't have a Joe Milton and you're depending on Josh Heupel to get Nico ready, I think that you're just fine. I really believe that. Uh, I, I think that highly of him and what I've heard from him on camp. People say that sometimes when I mention Nico, yeah, that I am shorting Joe Milton. That's not the case. That's not the case. I don't I don't think that's the case at all. So I think Tennessee would be just fine if they're rolling into the 2023 season and they're talking about Nico being their starter. So everybody would have said running back. I'm going to start going first so Caleb can't steal mine. Uh, who replaces Princeton Fant? Well, I think that's a group of people. And who knows? Jacob Warren might line up at the fullback position. I don't know, but I kind of doubt it. But I think Princeton Fant was a very versatile player. So I mentioned Keith. I think he'll be the power back from the fullback role at short yardage eventually. And then I think Jacob Warren, just by rotation, they have one in and one out, didn't catch as many balls as he can. So I think they'll be just fine there, Mr. Jones. And then the McAllen Castles kid, um, he, he comes in. I think he's very athletic and should be good, I hear. Good things about him. So second down, most underrated player is not Nico. All right, so most underrated player. I'll let you go first this time, just so I don't always accidentally take your Well, head. thank you. Um, most underrated player, I'll go Ramel Keaton. We all want to talk about Brew McCoy. We want to talk about who transfers in. We want to talk about Squirrel White because he's got a great name. But a guy that you can hang your hat on may not be a superstar ever in his life, but is Ramel Keaton at wide receiver. I think he's underrated. His name's not mentioned enough. Boom, beat that. I like Ramel Keaton. I'm going underrated here because I think this is a year he explodes onto the scene. I mean, Jalen Hyatt level explodes at his position. Gerald Mincy, left tackle. I think oh, – wow. We, we forget this because Darnell Wright did such a good job on him and, and handled him most of the time. But there were sometimes Will Anderson lined up on the other side. And Gerald Mincy did his job on that point, too. Now, he was splitting time with J.J. Crawford. I don't think he's going to be splitting any time this year. I think he's got that left tackle spot locked up. Pretty special athlete, so that's a possibility. I like where you're going. I think it's scary that neither one of us picked a defensive player. But uh, there we go. Most underrated storyline, third down, most underrated storyline. The most underrated storyline to me is who's replacing Trey Flowers at free safety. Because mm. that needs to be talked about more because that is a big, big 
issue. I've talked to, I've, I said a while, I don't know how you feel about it. I feel like Trey Flowers sacrificed his draft stock to cover for so many deficiencies last year in the secondary. Oh, I agree. I agree. Um, I think the emergence of a another tailback is the most underrated storyline right now. We've already touched base on it, but I think Dylan Sampson is going to step up and be a special type of player. I, I, I hate it when people do this, but I am going to use a, a Cowboys reference, a Dallas Cowboys reference, because that's the team I, I follow really closely. So Ezekiel Elliott was supposed to be the superstar, but who outdid him the entire season, Caleb? Oh, my gosh. Ramon just drew a blank, but I know who you're talking about. I know exactly who you're talking about. What's his name again? You're just going to have to refresh it for me. Oh, you got it. Uh, you got it. He was he was supposed to just be the guy who uh, was right around Elliott, and instead he outperformed Elliott. Is it Tony Pollard? Tony Pollard. That's right. Yeah. That's Tony right. Pollard. Sorry. I think that now I think Dylan Sampson will be the Tony Pollard of this group. More speed, runs better in tight windows, can explode into space. I wouldn't be surprised if he ends up accounting for 50% of the productivity out of Tennessee's backfield. And that would be a lot. Now I think he'll do so with fewer touches, but I think there's a realistic possibility of that. So uh, fourth down, here we go. Uh, Joe Milton says an underrated storyline. An underrated storyline? I'm not sure I got you there. All right, fourth down, here we go. Is the defense now underrated? No. No. They might be worse this year. I don't think they address their issues at all. No, I think you're probably right. 